Oh, 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 going old school, having everything break. Why, man, that's cool. I'm the guy who decides what's cool and what's not. My name is President Barack. Uh, hello, <laughs> hooray. Hi, guys. Hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Look, I'm. <laughs> Look, I'm. Check your pagers. Man, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a janky, <laughs> what a janky lift off. That's fine. Uh, we got, uh, we got bandwidth issues that Spectrum has copped to. Like they've admitted it's fully their fault and they really intend to fix it soon. And, uh, and we also had top, top men, hot men are efforting a solution as we speak. The hottest men that have ever lived. They're all, they all have glasses on and they're figuring it out. Did, did, uh, Nathan, did you actually figure out what it was? Like, what did you do? Did you just unplug everything and plug it back in and it worked? Um, that is a very simplistic way of yes. It, it, it is exactly what I did. I laid out everything on how it should go into and how VMix is talking to Black Magic. All right. Uh, along the way, something got reset, but that's fine. Uh, hey, man, you ready for a great night, Justin? Oh God, man! I've lived. I've I've been living terrible days. <laughs> wait, so wait, I could, wait. So uh, I could have a great night. Uh, uh, well, I guess we we had a great just, afternoon. Just, sc just scraping. Well, I don't want to say what I did today, but God, awful. Just awful. What do you just mean? terrible. Oh, my God. I don't even want to go into it, but just a terrible. But now I'm going to have a great night. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Well, okay. Now that we have uh, Chekhov's it was terrible, no between, good. <laughs> it was mostly between, like, noon and two. Uh, what, what was up uh, between noon and two? Just awful. I don't want to go into it, but just awful. Okay. We, uh, what good, were good. you doing between noon and two? Uh, oh, wait, I suddenly put that together. Uh, you know what? That, strangely for me, I must have been captured by aliens because I have no memories of anything between noon and two, unless I'm supposed to have you memories. Just, I never you're know. Just, you're just gonna let, you're just, that's just a joke for Brian in his head. <laughs> we were together. It was the first time I left the house. Look, look, uh, uh, yes, okay, I, I, yeah. I don't know if you remember this, Justin. You previously have been very sensitive about talking about uh, uh, recording our other project together. Uh, so, so I, I, I oh, know to no, keep no, quiet. No, no. <laughs> no, yeah. Now, now that people are getting product, you know. Okay. Now we're, that we're, we're shipping, keep, it's we're all good. To, yeah, we're trying to keep world's greatest con, the wheels greased. Okay, and then, rolling then for people. I'll let I'll let you take point on this because I would love like what what can we say about how today went? Because I had a lot of fun, like. It, it fucking felt great. I hadn't realized how much I missed for an entire month <laughs> just being in the same room and being funny together. Yeah. No, it was, it was really, really great. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the episode's going to be the episode. Hopefully it'll get out sooner rather than later. We've been pretty good about trying to uh, shorten our production runtime so you guys get more of the good stuff without sacrificing any quality. But, yeah, it was... Um, you know, look, we're, we're moving into the new world where we have to balance uh, uh, the fact that reality is still here and, and I need to work while the baby is here. But at the same time, my wife and I are, are sensitive about the, the, uh, the, the, the germ situation with the baby because the baby didn't have a, an immune system. So if the baby gets sick, it's more of a big deal than it would be otherwise. And if we were in a place where, like, my mom lived, we wouldn't have a choice. My mom would just come in and, and that would be a thing. And that's what a lot of people do that when they live near family. But we don't live near family. So we have the opportunity to be a little bit more quarantined. But at the same time, you know, I wanted to get the ball rolling on World's Greatest Con. And it's always just more fun and, and more efficient, I would say, when uh, Brian and I can work together and I can, I can conduct the Brian Orchestra. Uh, always... Yes, no. You you are the greatest uh, player of the Brian as as a as, as an instrument. No, you you play the Brian. I just I'm just the maestro. I just <laughs> I just hold for tempo, and then and then I I you know it, it's always really fun when we're hitting a line that's really good, 
and like I know your timing so well that I can like actually like time with my hand like the syllables of world's greatest con or you hitting a point or something well and and what's funny is i intentionally try not to look directly at you but i definitely see your motions in my peripheral vision and i can tell like i don't want to break the groove because most of the very best lines in in all of the show just happen kind of spontaneously and the only way to screw it up is to try to you know, do it with intentionality yeah. or something, but it's like, you know, just being locked. We, we had a few of those today that felt really, really good. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's a great story. Uh, and, and one I had never heard before. Had you ever heard this story before? No. And, and that's how I, I, it used to be that I just assumed all stories are new to me. And then, uh, but, but now, now that I'm getting ready to turn 50, I'm like, well, if I haven't heard of it by now and it's on my stated beat that I've worked on for yeah. 30 years now, I was 19 years old when I got serious about magic, deception, scams, cons, and, 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 and fooling ourselves. Like if I knew the majority of the story and somehow missed something, then, uh, then, then I can just declare that it's probably going to be new to everyone. That's how it was with Q-Ships. Like, uh, uh, that was totally new to me. Yeah. And we got, we got really good feedback on that. Go ahead and check that out. If you're, if you're not aware of World's Greatest Con, of course, uh, a show we've talked a lot about, but uh, we've been delving into one-offs, something that we had not done in the early run of the show, just to kind of keep the, uh, keep, keep the machinery humming, as, as opposed to... Uh, you know, kind of uh, 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 like like a movie set, like scattering to the winds and then coming back together every so often to well, do it. I think it it's just it's just good to keep the keep the blood flowing on the on the podcast. Yeah, and like season two, we did the kind of stories that we're doing now, where in theory we could have spread season two out over the whole year, every other month, and th and that would have been yeah. fine. Um, but, uh, but at the time we, you know, we did one season, we wanted to do a second season and then we did a third season that was a proper season. And, um, uh, it, uh, I, I, I like just mixing it up and having the exercise of seeing if we can hit deadlines and understand the crunch of like, man, we got to publish or perish here. We got to make something yeah. happen. All right. So that's, that's that. And, uh, go get Q ships. And it's it's good stuff, and we got new, new, new coming to you uh, for World's Greatest Con. Let me talk to you about something that I was, I've been obsessed with lately, Brian. Uh oh. There, so I'm up late because of the baby. Mm -hmm. Right, I gotta feed the baby, and there, for whatever reason, I am just in the pipeline for YouTube, not for politics, which is all I tend to look for on, on YouTube. But no, YouTube knows me so well, they know that what I really want is long form content about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake feud. Uh, That's it. Was, That's was, it, was it correct in this supposition? Look, the algo don't lie, dog. Like, <laughs> there's only one thing that I'm sitting there for two hours in rapt attention, <laughs> like a, a, a child watching Bluey, and that is just anybody. If you are in any way erudite, I will listen to you talk about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake feud because it fascinates me endlessly. But there's a specific YouTuber who does a channel called What's the Dirt? And okay. I want you to go and find it just because I want you to take a guess. I just need you to listen to his voice, and I want you to guess at what his accent is. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, Family Matters right, explained. So once again, one at a time, if you haven't been paying attention, I'm breaking down these records in the order that they were released. Okay, what's happening? Because it's almost like an Aussie accent but then it slips yes. away from it like it started to sound like a a, 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 a caravan of gar caravan of garbage or or friends uh uh at uh, auntie donna which means we're now at family matters for drake and okay. before i even get started like you guys do really okay wait, 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 wait. you can't slip into before i even get started you guys <laughs> like what was that right? okay so initially i'm watching these and i've watched a bunch of these videos for uh, uh all these different songs and I initially thought he was Irish because he kind of has a bit of an Irish lilt to him. And, and he's a white guy. 
So he kind of looks like he would be like an Irish kid that was really into hip hop for whatever reason that just kind of fit for me. Yeah. But he's I... not. And I've only gotten one hint, one hint as to what it is. And I think I have a, I think I have a guess that might fit. And you actually have a history, uh, uh, in in this but if you want to go ahead and take take another take a uh, yeah another few it's seconds. very possible to be a fan of two artists at the same time right <laughs> like this is indeed possible and i fully this understand is that indeed i'm not possible <laughs> I, <sighs> getting any popularity points for giving drake any sort of compliments for this oh yeah, yeah, yeah i i guess sort of uh is, is it is it like a like a uh, sort of uh hmm. record I know for a fact that no. if I approached his breakdown, no, I know for a fact. No. Like, it's, it's it's almost like a Minnesota nice thing. Of, of no, for a fact. All right. In so a way number one, can... let me just give you some more information about this channel, right? So this channel is dedicated to doing these like obscenely deep dive breakdowns into rap songs. Uh oh, hold on, we got to pause. Uh oh, what? We have a cameo. Wait, we have a cameo from who? Oh, for the first time. For the first time ever. <gasps> oh! oh, it's the baby Bella. The baby Bella. Oh! The baby Bella's on stream. <gasps> her eyes are open. Oh! Hey. This is the first time hey, I've seen Bella. her eyes. I know. Wow. Baby Bella, do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say to, to the people? You she can talk right into there. You got. You have to get used to it. This is the family business. I, I need to talk to my I agent. Know. I know. <laughs> it's a, I know. Uh, we were. We, uh, I, I was talking to Body. Uh, I was. I was listening to. Uh, there's a podcast, a uh, blocked reporter that you and I both like, and there was um, this interview where they were talking about like, yeah, parents who put their kids on and squeeze them for for clicks and stuff. I'm like, it's so skeezy to me. I could never and so on. And I was like, and I and I told Body, I was like, is it just me or is this just like we're circus folk? And it's like the moment you can get on that trapeze kid, that's what you're gonna do. All right, there we go. I think we're getting some cues. Yeah, you are. Hey, anything? Do you want to say? What are your first words to the internet? Hmm. No, she's like, I need to cut of the Patreon first. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's how you negotiate. That's how you negotiate. <laughs> That's amazing. No. All right, there we go. The first, the first, uh, uh, the first debut. That's what seventy dollars for the cameo. Baby uh, Bella. <laughs> Bebby Bella's first words are, "Hi, uh, chat realm. Uh, I yeah. <laughs> I understand you like great night. <laughs> I, I hear it's your birthday today, <laughs> and your friend." Jeremy really <laughs> wants you. Uh, all right. So uh, 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 what's the dirt? This dude does these obsessive deep dives into rap songs. I think he does a very, very good job. Uh, I really, really like his channel. Let me tell you, I am an, uh, uh, an unambiguous fan. Yeah. Uh, consensus from the chat was South African Sam's. South African Sam's. That's an interesting one. So it's 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 amazing because he'll go line by line especially in these things that are all diss tracks and he just assumes that all of them have 50 meanings to him and i'm here for every little bit of it in in that video that you played he's like in this video drake says the n-word 37 times and he's 37 years old. Oh my God. I believe that what he means by this is that he has been able to say this word since he was born. Uh, <laughs> Wait, and he says it once per year on his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. And look, that, that dude is meticulous with what he does. There's no shade. Final guesses, because I, I before I reveal my guess. I mean, I think it is an accent that is midway between two things. Like he's in one area, he's from somewhere and hasn't quite shed the original accent. Let me, let me hear a little bit more. All over it, I'd get way better feedback from the audience, but I'd also be lying but because Drake does indeed make some great points on this record. And I also truly believe that as the years go by, this breakdown will be appreciated and respected. 
Now before we God, I, 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 I got nothing. What's your, right. what's your take? At some point in one of the videos, he mentions here in Canada. Okay, tomorrow, tomorrow, can I borrow your cranes? Yeah. But what kind of sounds? Saskatoon. A little Irish? I think it's the Newfie, the Newfoundland accent. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I can find an that's example. The only, the only super weird Canadian accent that almost sounds European. Is okay, the hold on. Let me, let me say example, Newf, Newfoundland uh Example, whoops, Newfoundland accent. There we go. Here we go. Right here. Wait. Oh, I thought it was the, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. Uh, you sound Irish. I will say there's a good reason for that now, because if we look out this way, it seems we're bankered in with fog, so we got about a half mile of visibility. So beyond that, I'd say we're only about 3,000 miles away from Ireland. And uh, that, that will be why we sound, why we sound. That's not bad. So that's thick, right? But yeah. I think if he's, if he's, like, I don't know. I, 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 I have not looked him up. For the record, I've done no work on this. No, this All is I, great. I haven't been asked that in quite some time, actually. Usually people either know exactly where I'm from or have no idea what I'm saying because they can't understand me. So I'm from Newfoundland, Eastern Canada. Land? It's about as far east as you can get in North America. And America. yeah, I, I try to believe that I don't have too much of an accent. I don't sound too odd, but then people point it out and I'm like, oh no, I forgot where I'm from. I think, I think you're on to something here. You think I nailed it? You yeah. think I nailed it? Here's somebody doing a sketch of an Irishman meeting a Newfie. Oh, bye bye. What's the crack? Nice to meet you. My name's Davey. Davey, what are you at, bye? Ah, not no, much, whatever. Not I don't much. want to see your sketch. Uh, <laughs> the strongest Newfoundland accent. I was in the fishing school years ago. We called up there to St. Joseph looking for squid baiting. And I went for, we were there after dinner. And I, I rode ashore to walk on the walk. And on the walk was an I'm going to move to Newfoundland just so I can talk like that. <laughs> or, or visit it for like one one summer and come right, back and me, talk that do, way do, do an intro an old school intro to scam school which you know like by by the back of your sure head, sure sure in in, 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 in a newfoundland accent welcome to the only show that's going on really newfoundland it's scam school the only show you just get dear kid you're so engineering at the bar on the street you know just walking in the irish pub is a newfoundland pub <laughs> it's like, give me a beer <laughs> didn't you have a story where you and bonnie were in newfoundland uh halifax nova scotia Halifax, very close oh, yeah okay. we met uh there, there were some people Different attending a, attending the conference from newfoundland so yeah there were some uh but you've never been you've never i've never been to New, newfoundland anyway or i mean i guess the only places in canada i've ever been to are uh toronto and montreal and then the cities that you need to drive through to get to either yeah. of those places from syracuse yeah i've done uh i did toronto and then uh halifax twice and that's it that's it all right that's it we're we're leaving everything behind we're gonna go on a tour of canada we're just gonna go <laughs> you know what to we're gonna North. perform we, we we can perform for everybody in newfoundland just uh just one household at a time <laughs> we can walk in do the yep. show say Oh, thank you very much. It's a very good Patreon. And then move on. And, until we finally find the what's the dirt guy. <laughs> that's, we that's, knock that's on his door. He, o quest. he opens it up and we're like, ah, talk about Drake. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> did, I, did I tell you about this spam because issue? In this song, Drake says that Kendrick is a poser. Uh, did, did I tell you about uh, this this spam issue that I'm wrestling? The internet's coming at me, bro. Internet's really Why? trying to mess my my short and curlies. Don't don't do it. Don't I got I got, it, I got I got I got Spectrum away. I got Spectrum lying to my face saying that everything's fine, and then they oh I, I guess I haven't told this story. Um, uh, <laughs> so I I wasted an hour. Uh, I wasted an hour. Uh, I, I keep talking to Spectrum, and they. Uh, it was somebody who was clearly new to the front lines. 50 minutes of her just insisting everything looks fine on our end. I mean, there's no problem. And I was like, that's great. Uh, here's the speed test I'm getting. 
uh, what do you recommend I do? She's like, well, there's nothing wrong on our end. And I was like, uh, cool. Let's pretend you're me and you yeah. still have to put a show out. What would you do? And she's like, well, I mean, I guess you could confirm it by plugging one computer directly into the input and running a speed test. I was like, great, let's do that. And so it was done. And we got, you know, the crappy five megabits, which is why everybody watching live is three minutes behind us. I think baby Bella just showed up. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, uh, and sure enough, she's like, okay, I'll send out a tech. Now, this is a full hour of one solid message of it's not on our end. The day the tech is coming out, I get a text saying, uh, hey, uh, weirdest thing. We noticed a problem on our end, but we fixed it. So if you want to cancel that tech, you could just do it. Press one. Just, just press one and we'll cancel that tech. And so... Being a sport, I'm like, you know what? Non-zero chance that they actually I, I, did. I, I will go do a speed test. I did a speed test. Now, the downstream was faster. Upstream, still five megabits. Actually, when uh, I was, I heard of this, uh, even from my house, is when Brian did the uploads uh, speed test, it didn't even show a number. It just went... <laughs> it did it did the Jamaican foghorn. <laughs> 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 Uh, so dude shows up and after hearing it, he was like, yeah, I'm not even going to come inside. Just going to go climb this pole, climbs the pole, climbs down and said, like, yeah, it's not working. It's on our end. <laughs> and so, and so allegedly somebody you was going to, don't say, <laughs> Whoa, how about that? So that's the spectrum side. And meanwhile, I'm getting like, we, we had two new product drops and you saw, you saw the keychain, right? And and yep, I uh, bought one. Yeah, yeah and th there was another something or other that that we popped, and just nobody opened them. And then and then uh, uh, God bless Christopher who reached out saying, "Hey, uh, you know, I'm looking at your spam report and your reputation. You know, you got a half point off because you use Mailchimp and you're not actually sending from Shwood.com, but that's the reply to." I'm like, "Oh, a half point? Uh, that sounds bad. You got another half point off just because." Uh, one of the links was kind of gray area. I'm like, oh, oh, that's almost a whole point. Then you got eight points off for having your online store with this IP from Shopify. I was like, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? And he's like, no, 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 no. They, they share IPs over multiple stores. Someone who is not you and you have nothing to do with got on the, sp the spam naughty list. And, uh, and now you're having to eat the shit with eight points on there. And so, uh, and so today was the day I, I, I hit them up and, uh, Hey, sounds like there's an issue or whatever. And they are, and they say, well, I mean, I would just recommend, uh, switch it to another email provider. And I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. It doesn't matter who sends the email. It's yeah, the it's consumer. Your link. Right. Right. And then they're all like, yeah, no, it doesn't sound like it's us. Doesn't sound like it's our thing. I'm like, I'm told it's 100% your fault. Could you please check? They come back. You're like, crazy thing <laughs> you're not gonna yeah. believe this <laughs> turns out you're it's our right. fault and you're like but don't worry about it you've got an ip that universally going into the holiday season is known to be on the spam block list don't you worry about it i'm like okie dokie what are we gonna do and the answer was just sit tight and i was like yeah that's a no-go uh i need yeah. to be able to reach my customers uh, and there was like, well, did I mention going to another email provider? I'm like, it's not going to help. Again, oh. <laughs> not the problem. Not a thing. I think we have, like, like we have identified the problem. Good for you. You identified the problem. But right. don't suggest the solution that doesn't address it. Uh, and and they're like, well, they're working on it. And sometime it should be fixed. I was like, hey, crazy idea. You got other IPs, don't you? Maybe some mm -hmm. IPs that... Don't have an eight point reputational hit that and maybe my store can move over there. And so I kid you not, an hour before this very program, sit down and they're all like, hey, great news. Yeah. That bad IP, the one that ends in dot seven four, it's bad. It's a bad IP. I got you a good one that ends in another number. I'm not gonna say for fear of jinxing it. Uh just just go to the DNS server yeah. and just swap out the A record with this. I'm like, great, go there, bunch of A records. None of them have the old IP. Uh, uh and, and there's they all I can't change anything. 
it's a C name thing. And then, and, and after 30 minutes, I find out that it's like, wait a minute, it's set up to just forward to my store dot my And I, and I, and, I, and then I get confirmation and I have to text back saying, Hey, it seems an awful lot like it's forwarding to a domain that you own that I'm not allowed to change the IP address. It seems an awful lot, in other words, like this fucking shit is on you yeah. guys and only you guys can fix it. Uh, and now you're all caught up. So someday I hope to be able to reach my audience so I can sell cool shit on the store. I swear to God. The only place that our modern competency crisis has benefited humanity is in assassinations. Oh my God. <laughs> Patreon.com. Everything else is terrible. Everything else is terrible. Nobody knows how to do shit. At all, <laughs> whatsoever. Thank God. The only <laughs> thing is that you just have a bunch of dipshits that are like, how do I shoot the president? <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night is how you support the show. You get you get exclusive access to twice as much show by adding the bones to every single week. Head on over to patreon.com slash great night and get double the liability and horseshit from us. Uh, thank you to all of our fine, fine supporters. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, Nathan, uh, Brian, <laughs> before we get into our game, yep. let's before, before we get into our game, let's uh, uh, let's let's do a real quick update. You launched Callie's cards and it's funded. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's not just funded. First of all, it, it uh, uh, thank you to mm -hmm. everybody who chipped in. Thank you to everybody who spread the word. Uh, yes, we funded uh, and what was funny is, uh, I, I, you know, I woke up uh, Monday morning, yesterday morning, yesterday morning, and I was like, eh, it seems like we're really plateauing so close, so close to the goal as well. And then, uh, and then we just popped, we popped a little thing. And uh, now here's the thing. I found out. And I, this motherfucker thought he would get away without getting ratted out, but he leaked it to Bonnie that Nathan was the last 20 fucking dollars to take us over the line. He didn't even tell me this son bitch. Uh, but Bonnie ratted him out. Uh, we got over and I'm like, hey, we found it. That's really, really great. Uh, and then uh, two hours later, bloop, an email saying, we pick, hey, we're Kickstarter. We picked you as a project we love. And I was like, uh, oh, cool, a robot gave me a, a thumbs up emoji <laughs> and then uh and i'm like ah, maybe it's not a bullshit thing and so no, i uh no, that's a that's a for real for real thing well yeah and so and so i i asked chat gpt and it gave this very i'm like is this a real thing or is this some bullshit and it's like very excited as if it's an intern in the office with me chat gpt was like well no that's a really big deal. <laughs> a human has to do that. <laughs> that's congratulations, man. That's huge. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I need to send out the thank yous and the updates and all of that stuff. But but I guess as you understand it, Justin, does that make yeah. it at least a possibility that they'll email out on it or? Usually, yeah. Uh, if they haven't already, uh, I would say look at the back end to see if you have any uh, traffic from an, an email but i would expect that uh when when they send out the email the only question is where you get it in where where you're laid out in in the email how prominent thing because some of them are very big some of them are very small but uh yeah no i mean that's that's a great uh a, a sign of of quality uh it is it is always really important the best thing about kickstarter in general is that it is a car lot where everybody is willing to buy Right. Yeah. So if you are on kick, people are rarely window shopping on Kickstarter. They are shopping, shopping. <laughs> what? You they think they came in to get out of the fucking rain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they want so, to uh, give you their money. So if you are recommended something, uh, if you are getting a recommendation because you bought something similar, then 
you know, that's that you're, you're, you're going to be in there. Uh, but yeah, no, I think it's, it's awesome. And I'm so pumped that you guys are over it. Have, have, what was Callie's reaction? Did, did you tell Callie? That oh, she was, she was giddy. I mean, she was doing a, doing a happy dance and now she's, she's like, dad, 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 were you going to, you were talking about going on the news. Can it, can it, can we, can we do that? Can I go on the news <laughs> on a, on a school day? You go, and I'm like, sure. Working on it, kid. Uh, the uh, I, I did a little bit of poking around on that project we love thing, and apparently one of the criterion is uh, is how much of the video people watch, like whether they tap out early on. And so I think that we are really well served that Callie's so engaging in that. But uh, uh, hey, meanwhile in the chat, Meryl Barr is outing you. Uh, did you launch another podcast when I wasn't looking? Who me? Yeah, you <laughs> couldn't uh, be. Yes. <laughs> Yes, no, uh, uh, the attention mechanism uh, with Andrew Maine. Uh, oh, right on. A friend in mine, Andrew Maine, of course, uh, a, the first prompt engineer possibly in the world uh, and uh, uh, the former science communicator for OpenAI. You know, we know he just farts AI knowledge that just needs to be explained and right now the only home for it was his ex account and uh, uh i was like how about we do a show yeah let's do a show where you just it's just unfiltered it's labeled ai it is it is just your thing because you did you need to be a bigger voice in this and this the, the conversations are this came around when he did the reason article if you haven't read the reason article about uh um, it's excellent how, it's excellent uh uh, uh, can, can I can I summarize it real quick? Uh, what I liked about it, yeah, sure, is yeah, is yeah. that uh, uh, one of the things everybody's afraid of with AI is like, well, they they solved content. I guess all of us are out of a job now. And uh, <laughs> basically, the whole article, to my eyes, boiled down to, you know, supply and demand, right? Okay, what we're seeing with AI is a massive increase of of supply. So, are you saying that demand can't increase more than the supply of everything because last time i checked humans pretty good at manufacturing demand always infinitely when it comes to our health care when it comes to our appetite for exploration and you know uh convenience and all of that stuff etc 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 yeah i mean the, the 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 top line of it is that ai will bring about the zero unemployment economy and uh, that there's going to be bumps in the road and nobody really knows where it's going to go but if you follow along with past gigantic tech disruptive technological advancements it always created more people and more jobs that that is just what has always happened even when people thought the other uh, the other way so it was around that time that I was like, hey, man, you just need you need a podcasting clearinghouse because that's where a lot of this thought lives is is on podcast. And he was like, well, uh, well, what are you doing? And I was like. Nothing. <laughs> of course, I need to do another show. Are, are you giving it the full uh, dog and pony show rich audio treatment? No, no, no. This is this is this is a uh, uh, live to tape curated talk show of two old friends uh but we're keeping it kind of short it's more in the 30 to 45 minute range so it's it is like distilled uh, uh, uh top level knowledge if you want to be smarter about ai it's a very easy lift that uh, uh i am the restrictor plate from it getting too jargony like i will ask questions that will kind of bring it back down to a certain level. <laughs> like, but like what I, is I the think, farmer and goat? Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like, uh, 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 there's, I think it's great. The, the, the episode that is up now, you can find it on my X account. Uh, it will be a video podcast. It is uploaded now to Apple podcasts. It will be everywhere. Eventually. If you want me to put it somewhere that you personally have a, a, a podcast app, then Hit me up on X and tell me where you want it to go. But uh, yeah, the latest member of the Dog and Pony Show family is the attention mechanism with Andrew Maine in your face, my daughter. <laughs> you were too late. All this could have been yours.
Well, I know she's old news now. She was only the new baby for uh, two and a half weeks. So I'll tell you what, man. Newer baby. Uh, it it has been a busy week. A lot a lot going on. But uh, I guess I guess. Oh. Yeah. No. There's there's. Oh God, man. Yeah. Th- today was actually uh, a, a balls to the walls experience. Before we go to the game, uh, uh, Nathan. Hello. <laughs> We uh, I left some jart for you. Yes, you can did. You please, can you please show off the jart that uh, uh, was was left there in your station? So we've got two pieces of jart today. Our first piece of jart is a Jar Jar twenty twenty four Misa Keep Galaxy Great sticker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty great. That's pretty good. And our next piece of jart is. <sighs> Jar it's Jar? Rodan's the Thinker with Jar Jar's <laughs> face on it. I think it belongs. It belongs in a frame and in a museum. You know what? It well, is in a got, museum. In our museum, we're building a museum. Brian. That's true. That's what. You, it turns out uh, uh, all dreams could come true. It's found its way home. <laughs> there we go. All right. So keep sending your Jart. Uh, uh, let me let me go ahead and give you guys the uh, the PO box that that one that that stuff came in PO box. 153184 Austin, Texas 78715 again that is post office box 153184 Austin, Texas 78715 make sure you make it out to Justin because the PO box people get all fucking pissy if it, there's some other name on it they get all pissy they are like nye, 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 nye. Nye, I'm pissing I piss all over myself <laughs> and my life oh I was upset once I have a hair trigger for a urethra oh is that a breeze I'm pissing again I'm very pissy my name is piss e oh I was thinking urethra Darlington. Franklin R E S P P. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> there we go. R E S P P on me. <laughs> I now love we, now, we, now, now we now we've turned into a Seth Rogen pitch. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. All Nathan. right, go What's for it, game? Nathan. What do we got? All right, welcome to stream or cuisine. You'll be presented with a series of eight names that belong to either a food or beverage or a content creator. You'll receive one point for each name you answer correctly, with an additional point being awarded for correctly detailing what this name is. For example, if you were to answer that Drilk is a dirty soda, which Dr. Pepper and milk is combined, you would receive two points. Whoa. Uh, I have had this concoction. It's not great. Anyways, let's begin. First name. Wow. Drilk. Drilk. A milk I'd like to fuck. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> uh, welcome uh, for our first name is Ziggy Lotta. Z-I-G-G-Y-L-A-T-A. Good luck. Hmm. I uh uh, th- th- uh, ju- uh Justin, you want to go first or second? Say do you go first because I didn't listen. Okay, Ziggy Drata, Ziggy Lata, Lata, Lata does sound like latte, but I think it's pure coincidence. So I'm gonna say Ziggy Lata is a streamer. Okay, Justin. Hmm. Ziggy Lada, Ziggy Lada, hoy, hoy, hoy. hoy. Uh, I think a Ziggy Lada is like a Michelada, but Ooh. it is inspired by the comic book character Ziggy. <laughs> <laughs> little, bald. little bald. Yeah. Okay. No, I, yeah, I, I see I it. I think it's a bald, a bald Michelada that a very, very comic strip uh uh enthusiastic mexican nicknamed the ziggy lotta that that tracks <laughs> all of that makes sense to me man all right uh justin with I, i'm gonna go with content on there uh and brian with content uh brian specifically saying a wait wait, 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 wait. Oh. no you 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 said it was a drink right justin oh, it's a drink pardon i said it was a drink yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, a michelada a that was bald yeah got it cool uh justin with a drink brian with a streamer brian you get two points as ziggy lotta is a twitch streamer who focuses on mainly fps style games he's actually on twitch right now streaming hell divers too man i wish i could claim any credit or skill for having done that but that was a coin toss in my mind uh could have gone either way somebody go into his chat and just just Ask him if he's ever had a bald Michelada, <laughs> and if, if that's how he named himself, because 
He is a comic strip obsessed, a, a classic King Comics distributor obsessed <laughs> uh, a me- person of Mexican descent. <laughs> Good Lord. All right. Name number two, Dr. Perky. Oh, that's got to be. I mean, that's so that's so obviously. See, th- there's two layers of the game theory because there's there's like, you know, I know you made the game. And that does sound like a person's name, but your example was a Dr. Pepper, so maybe you're trying to get me to go. I'm going to say it's another person, because that'd be weird to do people twice in a row. I'm going to say person. Brian, with person. So Dr. Perky is weird, because like it also sounds like it could be in the like sex on the beach uh, uh, line of suggestive cocktail names. Like, couldn't you know, like, like a Dr. Perky would be it's, like, it's, it's like a, it's like a, uh, I don't know, sex on the beach with two umbrellas that look like nipples and you call it a Dr. Perky or something. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking Dimetap and Red Bull, but sure. Yeah. Let's go with that. That one's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Justin. I think w- it's a drink. All right. And just- if it ain't, if it's not a drink, if it's some fucking bullshit streamer, then I'm going to make it a drink. I'm going to go down to 6th Street, get my bar license, and I'm going to serve, a, I'm going to ask a stranger whether or not they want a Dr. Perky, and I'm going to pour Dime Tap that I bring from the house <laughs> into a cup with uh, uh, Red Bull, and then I'm going to put two uh, two umbrellas in it and say, look, it's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's You got to do that. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> no, then we're gonna show like I have clean hands, like at a blackjack table. That's my Other time, y'all. <laughs> I mean, hey, that might just sell. Uh, Justin with a drink and Brian with a person. Uh, Justin, you gain the point as Dr. Perky is a Dr. Pepper knockoff made by Food Lion. Ah, uh, Dr. Perky. Oh, that's right. Shit. You all have uh, Mr. Regular and uh, and Professor Brown. <laughs> well, is that cultural appropriation? Uh, what? Doctor Per. All right, so Food Lion, a traditionally northeastern grocery chain, right? Yeah. Doctor Pepper, a famously southern Texas yeah drink. Right? Yeah, I think out of Waco, right? Yeah, out of Waco. Yeah, yeah, they got the Doctor Pepper Museum. Are they allowed to do it? Do they have a Dr. Pepper pass? Yeah, are they I allowed mean, to? Are they allowed to? to well, like to say e- it? even H E B has Doctor Thunder. Dr. And, B. But again, oh, Dr. H-E-B, B, Texas based. Dr. B. They're they're allowed to say it all the time. Uh, Dr. Thunder, I think, was Hill Country Fair. I think that might have been the Hill Country Fair one, but I think it's fallen out of uh practice. Uh I used to work at H E B. Yeah, M- Mr. Mr. Pibb uh, is the Coca-Cola answer, right? Yeah. Mr. Pibb is Dr. Pepper's brother who keeps asking for money. <laughs> hey, bro, sorry to hit you up again, man. Yeah. This economy. You know I'm good for it, dog. <laughs> you know I'm good for it. <laughs> Mr. Pibb, please, bro. Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny Pibb. Uh, yeah, Dr. Pepper. All right. What a drink. What's 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 the score, sir? Currently our score is Justin one, Brian two. We're off to name number three, X Water. <laughs> oh yeah. I, X Water, huh? Yeah. X-Water. What do you think X Water would stream? Let's talk through this, Brian. What um, would X Water stream aside from Echo the Dolphin? Oh, far right propaganda for sure. X, really? Oh, X Water is like like uh I mean it's it's he's secretly funded by Elon Musk. Uh, hence the X, because yeah. heaven forbid he has oh. anything that doesn't have an X in it, right? Uh, this is, he's like, uh, uh, here to help kill the uh, woke mind virus. It's me, X Water. Come on in. The truth is fine. It would be great if X Water was a VTuber. <laughs> okay. Ah. Wait, wait, what, what would his avatar look like? Dolphin. Echo the Dolphin from the, from the Sega Genesis. The dolphin. All right. It would be Echo the Dolphin, but with Gary Oldman's haircut from the. All right, I feel I feel attacked. No, are you Echo the Dolphin? No, no I only I'm cosplaying as him apparently. <laughs> I think he would have a monocle, and I think he would talk very. He would talk at, ex, at excruciating length about hungry. Oh my God! All right, uh, 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 Nathan, uh, 
we have uh, two answers for uh, content creators, uh, which brings the score up to two to three. Uh, Xwater is in fact a content creator on Twitch. He's currently a uh, Nintendo title player. He's also currently streaming uh, and is typically funded by donation-driven uh, challenges. We are about to enter the midway point, so thus, let's introduce tonight's prize, because I think I'll enjoy. Uh-oh. All right, well, as as you're getting that, Brian, can we apologize to Xwater? This is all commentary. We, we, this is jokes. We don't actually think that you're a alt-right VTuber who yeah, sorry, is actually uh, a dolphin. That, uh, uh, Xwater, if this gets back to you or if any of your fine fans, uh, uh, here's the problem with games like this, and we've actually had to have a talking to for people because uh, us being goobers, we don't know whether it's a person or not, and then we say no. things, and then we find out yeah. they're real people later, which is why we banned games like this in the past. However, Oops. Nathan apparently had forgotten that. Well, also, Nathan wasn't here when we did that. That's so, correct. So, That's Nathan, correct. Nathan, That's Nathan correct. doesn't. Nathan bears no responsibility for past <laughs> games for which he had no fucking idea about. I mean, uh, it's just uh, it's 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 like a, a it's a it's a tiger trap filled with a, a, a what are they called? No, all a I'd punji say sticks. Is that Brian and I have a hard time believing that other people have feelings. <laughs> so we have a sociopathic instinct to only think that whatever we're saying is what's happening in the entire world. And every once in a while, we have to look directly into the camera and say, I'm sorry, X Water. I don't really think you're an alt right VTuber dolphin who talks exclusively about <laughs> Hungary in ways that makes other people uncomfortable. While being secretly funded by Elon Musk to destroy the woke mind virus. Having, having the haircut of Gary Oldman. That's right. <laughs> I, I think tonight's prize is even even better because of this explanation. Uh, introducing tonight's prize from the halls of Walmart. A boat paddle with the Diamond Club logo on it. What, uh, wait, what, uh, what is it? Rush week? Uh, are we initiating? A, are we hazing a freshman? <laughs> Uh, uh wait, wait, walk us through the thinking here, Nathan. Okay, so I was trying to determine this week's prize, and I had I, I narrowed it down to about um either a comic book from a collection that I have um in a garage, uh, an old keyboard, and I was like, well, let me go, let me go wander around. So I went to Walmart. I was going to go buy a tripod because I was doing photography last night. I was just walking around the aisles, and I I get to the hunting aisle. I'm like, that's a boat battle. That's weird. And I walk a little further, and I get to the automotive aisle, and there's like a tire for 20 bucks. And I'm like, okay, that could be funny. So I'm like, okay, okay. So I go into the Discord, say, hey, chat, tire or boat paddle? Uh, the consensus immediately was boat paddle. So I get a boat paddle. Hey, and then I'm thinking paddle. about this. I'm like, this is a good boat paddle. What if I put the Diamond Club logo on it? Uh, hey, re re real quick, Nathan, in in all your vast maritime experience, what's a what makes for a bad boat paddle? Probably this material, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Probably this exact paddle is a horrible boat I paddle. I would have said bad parenting, but go ahead. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no. Uh, I don't have that experience. Anyways, um, so I... Uh, you, put, you, you bought it and you put the logo on it. I bought it, I put the logo on it, and here we are. This is y'all's prize to compete for. All right. Well, what's the score? Uh, currently, score is two to three. All right. All right. Number four, Shoggy Boom. Mm. Justin, I'm going to give you honors. Spell it. S-H-O-G-G-Y-B-O-O-M. Shaggy boom. Shaggy boom. Oh, not a mercy. Shaggy boom. <laughs> Come straight from Jamaica. Shaggy boom. Yeah. Lot of mercy. I feel like you're making a pretty oh. good. <laughs> now you, you know what's funny is being shouted Shaggy out boom. like that in a song. Uh, you could be either a streamer or a drink. Like like it's equally likely that. That a reggae artist would shout out oh, Shaggy Boom. I don't know what it is. Oh, Shaggy Boom. Could well, be a drink or no, something else. <laughs> would you feed it to your kids? Or is it there for the stream to play? Toad Jam and Earl is streaming all day. Shaggy Boom. 
back. It's pretty good. All right, so so we're. Uh, I I think I think the Chagi Boom is a drink. I think it's it's not very well known, but it is very popular amongst a certain segment of America that loves it and may well kill for it. That and so much more in our primetime news at eleven. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with uh, with it's a streamer, Shoggy Boom. Brian, what do you think Shoggy Boom streams? Um, well, what Electro Boom just recorded himself shocking himself repeatedly and cursing. So Shoggy Boom, I think is is just a a, a play play in Monopoly. Ooh, that's a good one. You're you'll playing, notice like, you'll hey, notice Monopoly I'm a lot more. Heads. I'm a lot more conservative in my estimates as to what streamers do. <laughs> yeah. How, what? Yeah, Monopoly. That'd be great, man. <laughs> That'd be great. If you just stream Monopoly all day, fuck, what a, what a life, dude. You could just be playing Monopoly, building, building <laughs> something. We don't build anymore in America. <laughs> it's you know? true. It's true. We don't build anymore. We could build. We could build Yimby. <laughs> That's what? I'd be the Yimby. I'd be the Yimby Monopoly man, dude. I'd be building on Park Place, Atlantic, Baltic, all that shit, dude. I'd be fucking building red, green. I don't give a fuck, dude. Just give me that cash. I'm going to jail sometimes. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't define me. I'm in and out of jail. I got a record. I don't give a shit. Free parking. Fuck yeah. A lot of money. A lot of money. Who puts two hundred dollars under the board? Shoggy boom, that's it. <laughs> All right, Nathan. Shoggy boom with Justin answering a drink and Brian answering a streamer is in fact a Turkish equivalent of a pop rock. So Justin, you get the point. Mm. Uh, uh, yes. We are now tied three to three. I love Turkey. <laughs> uh, uh, have you been there? When are they going to host us? Hey, uh, Ministry of Tourism for Turkey. I told you I went to uh, Turkey, right? We had a whole fucking uh, uh, thing on our album about it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. Why? Oh, man. And, and, and a fan was very upset from Turkey, begging me to take it down. <laughs> yeah. No, they were not. They didn't like it. But look, how about this? We're in the demo of people that go to Turkey to get new hair. Right. Yeah, th there was a whole investigative thing. The Economist, the Economist podcast had a whole deep dive inve investigation. It, it somebody talking into herself and like, I'm here. They're, they're talking about injecting fat into my bum. Uh, 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 they're telling me it's the Badonkadazzle package. And uh, it's like, Turkey, no one knows why people go there for salons that cause their... Uh, trunks to have more junk. I'm Judith British, and this is The Economist. Wait, hold on. It was about butt lifts? Yes. It was about it was about the crazy notion that people... No, no, no. People... That's not why our demo goes. I know, our I know. Our demo does not go for that. Our demo goes because they are men of a certain age of, and of a certain mean that want hair. Yes. And you can do hair restoration... And also sit at a pool for a few days while your hair looks, while your scalp looks fucking gnarly. Just you and a bunch of other dudes that look like uh, baseball managers can sit around a pool with a uh, 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 fucking gigantic helmets on, like you have a concussed player at training camp, and, uh, and and have a good time. But imagine Turkey, huh? <laughs> That's our demo. Dude. Fly us out there. We'll do live shows while people get hair restoration uh, <laughs> surgery. You give us a little cut, a little cutaroo, right? We come out to fucking uh, uh, Istanbul, not the other place. And you, <laughs> uh, uh, we all profit. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, oh wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where is it? Oh, it's gone. It's not here. Black people aren't slaves in America. They're not. No. That's what that's what uh, it would sound Owen. like for Istanbul, yeah. not Constantinople. Yeah. Been a long time gone, Constantinople. Why All right, Nathan, what do you got? Works? All right. Next up, Blippi. Uh, Blippi. I refuse to believe that uh, this universe exists without a streamer named Blippi. 
Uh, now, whether there is also a beverage he is, you know, whatever. He probably has a beverage named after him, but I guarantee you there's a streamer out there named Blippy. Okay. Who I, is, no, I bet my hairstyle thing? on it. The kids thing. Who is the kids guy? Was that Blippy? Uh, is that your answer? Uh, yeah, I think the kids guy. We had a whole thing about this. I had to watch a bunch of fucking shit with, like, this psychopath Blippy, who apparently in a previous world like shit on his friend and then had to stop being the kids entertainer. And now he has a second Blippy. It's fucking Gallagher 2 of Blippies. And it's just giving kids a goddamn complex the world over. He would literally just be a big doofus that would run around and be like, What? A truck. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, my God. A truck. <laughs> All right, so so you're going with a, a streamer? I think that that's the guy. Yeah, I don't know if he's a streamer, but I know that there is, I think there's a kid, a kid's entertainer called Blippy. Uh, Justin, in fact, by specifying you gain two points, Brian, you get a point. Uh, yes, Blippy is a... <laughs> yes, mine Laban indeed. Uh, Blippy is a content creator for kids entertainment. Uh, for those of parents who have small children in the house, you know this pain. All right, last round. Well, yeah, but also he, he's a fraud, fake, a, a fucking phony. This man, he, he's, he's replaced himself with another Blippy. I think actually they might be on Blippy 3. <laughs> really? The third? I think there's I think there's a Blippy 3. I don't want to get into conspiracy theories here, but I, I'm pretty sure that there's a Blippy 3. Jesus. How many Blippies can you fit into a moving car? That's the question. <laughs> Not enough. Anyways. Meanwhile, the King Blippy, this vampire fuck, just sits on his crown and 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 collects all the cash. He's like a pimp. He's pimping <laughs> these other Blippies out. He's, he's the Blippy on the Plimp. Street. Yeah, he's saying, like, uh, hey, go bring back some YouTube ad spend dollars for daddy. And then meanwhile, he's not even out there looking at the goddamn dump truck anymore. He used to sing the dump truck song himself. Now he exports it. Brian, we're not building anything. We you don't know, build we're, we're, we're an internet in decline, man. I can't believe my competency crisis joke got fucked by the artifact. God damn it. That was a fucking home run. The, the which one? My competency crisis joke apparently got artifacted. Anyway, go, oh. on, go ahead. Uh, we'll be fine on the YouTube. All right. Last question worth a whopping double points. Acid League. Wait. Uh, drink, 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 because I'm certain it's a streaming thing. So wait, what would the drink be? Uh oh man. Acid League. Um yeah. when you're in a mood. <laughs> when you're in a mood acid league. ready to groove, you need Acid League. <laughs> the only okay uh, yeah all right so so first of all it's uh, whatever it is it's a it's a sports drink is what it is uh and they have a bunch of over the hill former uh, uh, uh washouts from various sports who all got busted for doing steroids or juicing so you got jose canseco Ooh, yeah, you got that good. snaggle toothed runner you've got uh uh, uh lance armstrong You've got, uh, and they're all together, and like basically, so it's like I, I gotta win the game. It's like, whoa, what's this minor league problem you have? And they're like, the problem is I'm not very good at sports. It's like, huh? Sounds to me like you need to join <laughs> lightning uh, strikes. A, a kid with a tinfoil hat who gets cooked and out of the corpse arises a ghost who wiggles his ghostly, ghastly fingers and whispers, Acid League! And he vomits on the, the kid. And the kid suddenly uh, uh, becomes buff and strong, uh, but all of his family vanishes and he's in his shitty apartment. And he's like, Acid League! Yeah, I'm going to go with drink. Drink? Okay. Yeah, we both yeah, went drink. What Brian said, I think it's exactly that. <laughs> Brian went with drink with some specificity. Justin went with drink simply. Given that this is a bonus point round, that brings Justin up to seven. That brings Brian up to five, making Justin tonight our winner. Whoa! Give it a battle! Here, let me just hand it over to... Oh.
I'll go oh. put it in your pile. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, add it, add it, add it to the pile. <laughs> it's waiting for you. Talk to Martha you know when you get pile? here. I would have, I would have picked it up when I was there today. Yeah, yeah, you should have, you should have, you should have just, you should. Well, yeah, I guess I hadn't seen it by then. I'm thinking about the logistics of this. All right, I, uh, man. Uh, thank you to the audience for for clearly. I think we've identified the exact most masochistic members of Diamond Club yeah. Chat Realm, like people yeah, who Fearless actively Amish Overlord, Caitlin, Bobcat. Like, like you guys are <laughs> true you guys man are food. the actual sickos. Like you guys would literally <laughs> drag yourself through broken glass Meryl to listen to every other syllable of our podcast. G James B. No, these are, these are the real ones. Like like when if I'm going to take a kidney. Uh, it's going to be from one of these, <laughs> like, like, yeah. like, because uh, 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 they're going to give my kidney to one of you and you don't know which one. <laughs> so one of you is going to have to take it. Please keep it on ice. All right. Well, I, ca I can't play the lullaby with you because uh, you're on the same channel as it's uh, any parting words. Justin. Oh, uh, uh, Wait, thank you very no, much. Haven't we tried that before? Nathan. Uh, well, it, it just drowns you out. Uh, we'll figure uh, it out. Uh, 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 Nathan, how can people suggest a game or participate? Uh, special th shout out to Coyote Brown for this game this evening. Uh, you can head over, over to bit.ly slash NA Discord. That is our Diamond Club Discord. You can find me as tech in the Great Night Games and Show stuff. And see you there. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, Justin, what did we learn yeah. today? Oh man, we learned that uh, uh, they won't stop blipping. They won't stop flipping the blips. Nope. Until they make it to Acid League. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, Cali Scars is a recommended by Kickstarter. Yeah, uh, uh, we've learned that nothing is anybody's fault on their end. Yeah, and uh, we also learned that uh, Spectrum can suck a fat one. Yep. All right, until next week, uh, we are, unless you're unless you're a Patreon.com slash Great Night Supporter, we'll see you at the Bones in just 48 hours. Shout out, you crazy diamonds. Justin Robert. It's been a great night. Every time you go, I get so sad that I want to drink a warm glass of Drano. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack.